Wow. Hello, I'm playing the role of the tomato from Veggie Tales, apparently. Hi everybody, what's up for new to my channel? My name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my comments, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. I'm red just because I worked out, but also because I guess you could say I'm just embarrassed of myself constantly. Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy, Buy it all. Get your f***ing ass up and join my Patreon. I know I said it like a joke, but it isn't a joke. I literally did just work out and I'm still sweating. Sweaty face aside, I thought this would be a great time to start the vlog because I'm going to get a new tattoo. I wanted a tattoo dedicated to Booger for a while and my friend Emmy Hartman got one of her dog Cece and it was so good. So I'm going to the same person. I'll kind of show you the placement and stuff in a minute, but um, I have to get going because I'm late. And sweating profusely. Alrighty, so I'm here and very lost. What is a day without getting lost in a parking structure? Where am I going? I go over here. Okay, this was P3. Okay, now this is P2. Hey, oh my God, I'm like, where the fuck am I going? Hey guys, we're here. This is Avia. Is it that how you say your name? Avia. Avia. I swear to God I was gonna say Avia and then I was like, that said, whatever. Anyways, this is what we've got going on today. This is like the template and then she is beyond. I right, so just did the placement. I don't know why my arm is looking so fucking pasty, but let's do this. We have begun and by we, I don't mean me. I'm doing nothing. We are, what would you say? How far in? We're in the very beginning. <laughs> She's like, bitch, sit down, shut up, and fall asleep. This is what Miss Booger's looking like right now. Oh, look at her little teeth. Ah. <gasps> oh my God, this looks. It started. You? I don't even. I don't even fucking understand. I couldn't even do this with a fucking pencil. Also having ADHD. Wow, definitely the longest tattoo I've ever gotten. She said she's gonna go in with a little bit of white, um, just for the highlights, and then we'll be done. But oh my. God. Emmy, shout out to you for fucking the recommendation. Well, no, not fucking the, yeah, okay. Turn off the camera, Chris. We are all done. Are you fucking kidding me? I have the Mona Lisa, but better on my arm. So it's a few hours later after getting that tattoo and I went to Balenciaga because my Balenciaga guy called me during the tattoo. When my guy from Balenciaga calls saying, get your ass in here, bitch, you listen. I do want to say I wasn't going for me. I was actually going to get something for you guys. Now, as you guys know, I started a Patreon and with it, I really want to hook y'all up with the shit that I genuinely love. And that includes things like Balenciaga, baby. I obviously know that if people are paying $10 a month, say, for my Patreon, I know that to some people that's an hour of work or more than an hour of work. So I want to do contests that give away fire prizes. And this is just part of the contest that I'm giving away. I am finding a bunch of other stuff to do like a bigger bundle. But these glasses just arrived in the store today. These are the glasses that I got for one of you guys in the full-blown dysfunction tier. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy buying things for people. Definitely my love language. Anyways, to wrap it up, if you want to get involved in these contests, you can join the full-blown dysfunction tier on my Patreon, and I'll be posting the contest rules when I do them and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I'm just excited. I love buying things for people. Oh, God, I'm really putting the dysfunction in the full-blown dysfunction tier, that's for sure. Okay, before we carry on with the rest of the vlog, I just want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Helix Sleep. They have supported this channel endlessly between these videos and my podcast, but if you don't know, Helix Sleep is a premium mattress in a box company that takes all of your unique sleep needs and delivers that mattress right to your door. The way that Helix Sleep takes all of your unique needs into account is through the Helix Sleep Quiz, which is a very easy quiz that takes into account your sleep needs. <laughs> For example, when I took it, I said that I'm a side sleeper, I like a medium firmness, and they hooked me up with the Midnight Lux, and it has never been such a beautiful sleeping experience. I've had it for like a year and a half, two years, and it still remains to be <laughs> just magical. So got one for the guest room and Andrew's mom is in town right now and literally the first thing she said was, oh my God, I cannot wait to sleep on this bed. No, it just feels really comfortable and supportive and I feel like I just get really good sleep. And once again, it came to my door and all I had to do was unwrap it. If you wanna be on your way to a beautiful night's sleep with Helix Sleep, be sure to click the link down below or go to helixsleep.com slash Clemens to get up to $200 off all mattress orders plus two free pillows. I know buying a mattress online can feel intimidating, but with Helix Sleep, they have a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. Anyways, thank you so much, Helix. 
Felix Sleep <clears throat> for sponsoring this video. Can you do anything about my voice? <laughs> what the hell was that? Anyways, back to the vlog. So it is Thursday and I just uploaded the podcast episode and I realized that today is the day that I will fall for you. No, sorry. I just like couldn't miss that opportunity. It's that time where my tattoo is starting to peel and it's itching like no other and I want to claw it off. But if you've ever gotten a tattoo, you know you cannot touch this shit. It wasn't until just now when I realized that my tattoo is peeling that I have the same dream after I get tattoos. And this dream happened last night, so this is why it's like fresh for me. Yesterday I noticed it peeling, and last night I had a fucking dream where I picked at the peeling and it pulled part of the tattoo off. Like, I mean, it doesn't happen like that, you know? Like you don't peel the ink out of your skin. <laughs> or maybe you do? I don't know. But I have this dream every time I fucking get a tattoo and it's healing that I'm peeling. Is this relatable? Does anybody else have this? I know it absolutely stems from the fear of fucking up my tattoo in any way, shape, or form. Oh my god, I woke up this morning and was like, oh my god, Booger's left ear is missing. On, on like, the tattoo, not her actual one. Anyways, never until moment. I have therapy in a little bit, and then I have to go run some errands, so I'll take you guys along. You will not be coming along for therapy, though. That is private. Just kidding. I'd probably honestly film it. <laughs> so I'm here at the 100 store, and they're letting me pick out some stuff to get. So I'm trying it on. Look how fucking sick this dressing room is. Also, can they fully hear me? Probably. But come and try stuff on with me. This is, like, not very much me, but I really kind of like it. I love this. <laughs> This is so not like me. I mean, okay, this is coming home with me. Also, people don't know this. I am the creator of <laughs> You're Coming Home With Me. Fun fact. Actually, a pretty sad fact. Anyways, back to the jacket. This is gorgeous. We have this black t-shirt. I like this. It's just a simple graphic. You can wear it with sweats. You can wear it with black pants. You can wear it with like anything. This one I loved on the hanger and didn't know how it would look on. I wish it was a little bit boxier. Like if it was a little more boxy, I would literally get this. Okay, I'm really trying not to be a bitch, but for those of you who say, I want to be a YouTuber, what advice do you have? Don't, okay? Don't be one. It is 10 in the morning, and I received a box, no joke, larger than a stove. What was in the box, you ask? <laughs> Only one picnic basket filled with a beret that says J'adore coming, a full sex kit with a, a vibrator, two boas, literal fake fruit, and then a Polaroid camera. Why? Like, t-shirts and shit, I wouldn't, like, why? <sighs> Why? I am all for a good marketing strategy. Fake fruit? Why? I don't know why I'm not responsible for getting rid of that. Oh, I have to go to Goodwill. Anyways, this isn't a real problem. I'm just annoyed because now, oh, hold on, just chasing another feather around my house. No. Oh my god, the drinks have arrived. This is a perfect time to say that the co-star of the <laughs> You're Coming Home With Me audio is here, Miss Esther. Do we know what, it, what I was saying? No. No, and none of us know what she was saying and it's so frustrating. I guess we'll never know. We're gonna pass the camera, we're gonna introduce ourselves, and we're gonna say one fun fact to break the ice. This is Passing the Camera, and I'm Brenda Song. <laughs> in the dryer and I worried that someone stole it. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clements, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Oh, my name is Kat. My fun fact is... I don't have to Hey bitches, it's me. You know this hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Andrew. This is my little hat. Like a little sailor or something. I have done six loads of laundry in the past week and I haven't folded one. My name is Chris Clemens uh, and a fun fact about me is that the key to a perfect mimosa is just one drop in the bucket. Oh. Ew, it looks bloody. Like, you have so- <gasps> Holy sh- What the fuck is that? 
Yeah. Was that the paper? Yeah. Uh, chemical reaction just got I just literally went to stir it. And it just ejaculated on it. Anyways, back to Morgan. Hi, my name is Morgan, and I am the token street friend of the group. <laughs> So Drew is having a dinner with Youth to the People and I've got to leave soon, but I'm having my classic, this outfit isn't playing out the way I imagined it playing out. So I got to the point where I literally had to get in the car or else I was going to be ridiculously late. I am wearing the exact outfit, but I just changed out for less crazy black boots. I've been really into taking Mulholland Drive and as I've been doing it, especially at golden hour, I'm just like thinking how much I'm gonna miss like fully living in LA since I am like moving out of LA come like June. I'm obviously gonna have a car and everything here, but I'm just not gonna live here full time. So it's making me weirdly nostalgic. It's just like once you know the end of something is near, I feel like you start to really appreciate it and notice all of the amazing things. Anyways, that's what I'm experiencing, and I guess I'm also experiencing looking like I teach karate. Like, what? I look like a fucking Jedi. Great. We're here, and Drew apparently wanted me next to her, but that means I'm under the AC vent, which means my nipples are literally cutting through my shirt. Period. Hi. Mom, pick me up. I'm fucking scared. There's shots and fire. People are drinking. Okay, today is a very exciting day in the world of being Booger's dad. Boogie! Boogie, do you know how exciting of a day it is? I had no idea that this was coming, but Open Farm sent the cutest little bag of Dree Freight. Oh dear, okay. Freeze dried raw, it's like a cute little bag, but they also sent me booger socks, which is so funny because of what is coming later today. Oh, booger. There's just only mental illness in this home. Booger. <laughs> Babe, all right, I'm gonna give you some. I wanted to show the people your amazing catching skills. Come here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. ready? 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 Say it. Good girl. <gasps> nice! Ooh, don't choke. Hey, shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Ready? Boop. Ah! Oh! Pa! 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 Good girl! High five, buddy! Guys, it's here. The clone of my dog. Oh my god, video title. I cloned my dog. Oh my god, I am so excited. So I did this through the same thing I got of my dog Bentley. If you don't know, watch Things I Bought High. I know this isn't sponsored, but there's a website called Cuddle Clones. So I technically am not even lying when I say that I cloned my dog. <laughs> Booker! Dumbest, most delusional shit I have ever done. This is also like a size 900. <laughs> no, you can't, no, 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 this is you. This is you. Hey, book, no. I'm so shook by these. Anyways, these are my slippers. I am literally screaming at this. This was some of the best money I've ever spent, so. Hi, Booger. Hi, Booger. Hi, Booger. This is like the Spider-Man pointing meme. <laughs> <laughs> Booger is like, what the fuck is going on? Anyways, my dog is gonna be so fucked up for life because of this. This is how it's going. <laughs> oh. Ow! You're a bitch! You're still my number one! This just healed, too. Cody and I are having a little stony baloney day. We just ate, and do I feel like I could explode? Yes. But I came to visit my friends at Balenciaga, and I'm upstairs, and look at this fucking dress. Coachella? Are we feeling it? I gotta go. Yeah, 
I got banned from this store after this. <laughs> I'm here with my baby. Hey everybody, what's up? No, 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 no. It's like three times in one vlog. <laughs> it's just still the same vlog. Katya was working on something and I was like her sexy little assistant. So now we're at Nobu for dinner and we've never been in this room. It is a new week and I did not expect this vlog to be going over this many days, but here we are. Anyways, this is a very exciting day because one of my favorite brands, Le Keep, I've talked about a ton, I have worn a ton. They invited me to come to their studio downtown, so I am like three minutes away and I am like kind of fangirling. I'm like, the shirt is them, these pants are them with the like little uh, what the, the, yeah. I'm hoping to find some good shit for Coachella, but mostly I just love their clothes and I feel honored that they invited me, so of course I was not turning that down. Guys, I just turned the corner and literally went to heaven. <laughs> okay, now I've got a rob. So this is everything I've been doing, <laughs> just literally half of a clothing rack. Okay, just paid and oh my god, look at this. So we are at the mall today because... Beep, beep. Okay, I mean, if you don't play charades or aren't good at it, um, he's test driving fucking car. I'm <laughs> I, I didn't know if I was supposed to say something or I... <laughs> Typically when the camera gets turned to you... Going to test drive cars, baby. Beep, beep. Tell the people, <laughs> tell the girls what car. I'm going to test drive some Teslas. Testy, my Tessie. I'm the Model 3, and that's the same fucking car I have, and I am so salty I joined you on this, because this car is so different. What? Oh. oh my god, this is scary. Okay, I don't think, I think you should get like a pickup truck <laughs> or something else. I don't know if this car is for you. I mean, I'm mom, please help me. I'm Andrew's mom, please help. Oh my god. The camera literally just hit me in the face. Why does this car do that? Isn't it <laughs> insane? Like who even needs that? Race presets? Oh. Lift presets? <laughs> Oh my god, Andrew! Bitch, I'm just trying to go to Trader Joe's. You literally two days ago. Who the fuck needs sport mode? I don't care. Oh, okay, you gotta give a bitch some kind of fucking heads up. I'm literally gonna have whiplash. I am. I have like a fucking legal case just building with this vlog. This is a perfect time to say if you are looking to get a Tesla, my Tesla link is always down below. So if you order yours through that, I get a thousand supercharger miles, but so do you. This is a brand new car. <gasps> I'm just kidding, kind of. <laughs> I mean, literally the footage, the compilation I'm gonna have of the camera just going <laughs> is gonna be insane. Turn car seaters. Car seaters? Turn car seater sign eyes on. Turn seat heaters on. Driver seat heater set to high. Passenger, high. Suck my cock. <laughs> delete that, delete that. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping back. <laughs> Suck my cock. No, Andrew, this is a person too. Maybe in five years. Tesla rep is just sitting in the Tesla store like, um. <laughs> they have full access to microphone and video. God, I hope so. If not, they can watch it on youtube.com slash Chris, baby. We're going to drive through. Oh my god, should we? Are you are you paying? <laughs> I put it on the Tesla card. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They're like, um, I think that's a key. <laughs> the guy's like, how did you like the car? And you're like, I don't know. I just watched TikTok the whole time. <laughs> Andrew just handed me his phone and had the audacity to ask if I could record him driving in point five. You know what? Fuck it. Look at this. Guys, I'm here with Kat, and we're going to the Billy Maybe Show tonight. I was this... so shocked you didn't, and then I was like, I know it's coming. Is this, is this the same vlog? Same vlog. Same vlog, baby. Anyways, we're going to the Billy Show. Phineas and Billy gave us tickets, so we're gonna go. Cheers. We're here, Miss Eilish. Look at the forum. It looks so good. Oh 
Oh my god, I mean, <laughs> this parking spot. Anyway, switching to iPhone footage in three, two. <laughs> Oh, you think? Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Oh, we don't know? <laughs> I'm home from the concert. I'm writing in my journal. I used to do this back in college, but I've started it up again. On the first half of the page, I put what I'm grateful for in the day. And then on the second half of the page, I put all of my goals and things. And I just think it's good to be reminded and it's good to be grateful. And I am really happy I'm starting this again. Literally two days ago, Balenciaga show attendee. Today found out I will be a Balenciaga show attendee. Anyways, I'm going to bed. So fun for all the people that waved and said hey at the concert. Hey, how you doing? But I will talk to you guys later. I have to go share some gratitude. Amen. <laughs>